What's going on guys and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Uh, this time around I'll be going over the USB Loader GX and how to uh, apply different themes and different music, background music. Uh, the reason why I decided to do this because someone had commented in one of my videos asking me for the link to a, my particular theme that I had and of course I don't. Uh, so I decided you know that'd be a nice little tutorial to do is to go over this real quick. So um, <clears throat> So yeah, it's, it'd be a nice short tutorial for a Sunday, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hop on over to the computer guys and I'll show you where you can download some themes and also um, where you can put your background music and all kinds of stuff. I'll just show you where everything goes and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing going guys and uh, I'll see you over at the computer. How about that? Cool. Alright guys, so let's just jump right into this. Uh, let me go down here to my web browser and I'll show you this website that you need to visit. Uh, this is it right here. Um, this is the Wii Theme Depository site. Uh, you do have to register guys in order to download, uh, but it's no big deal. Uh, it just requires a username, password, and your email. Uh, but of course, I don't use my personal email. I always go to this other website called fakenames.com and use a fake email. So that's what I do. Uh, I just don't want a junk mail sent to me from these different sites and things like that. That's why I do it that way. But uh, <clears throat> when you first get to this site, guys, you're going to see a lot of different themes. Uh, not only do they have the USB loader themes here, but they also have the homebrew channel, uh, configurable USB loader uh, stuff. So if you don't want them all mixed up like this, you can simply come up here to themes and you can select just the USB loader GX themes if you want. And here's all the ones for that. I don't know how many pages. There's, there's a lot of pages of these. Um, but you have to look down here, guys. Uh, some of these will not work on certain versions. Uh, I have a version 3. Now, how do you know what version USB Loader GX you have? Once you boot into a USB Loader GX, guys, um, once it starts loading everything up, at the bottom left-hand corner will show you what version. I have version 3, revision 1260. Uh, I haven't tried the 1262, but I'm pretty sure they'll work. I'm pretty sure it's not going to have any problems with that. Um, now, I did download this one right here. This is a version 3C R21000. Uh, this one did load up, but a lot of the uh, the theme was missing. So yeah, it didn't it didn't work so well with this one right here. Okay, um, this one does work, version 3.0. I've got the red one that I'm going to show you guys. This one here works. This is the it says latest right here. Um, right here it says all. I'm assuming that it works with all versions of the USB loader GX. But guys, just go through here. Uh, you have pages and pages of these things. Uh, just go through there and find out which ones uh, work really well, which ones you like, you know, and, and things like that. Uh, you also can come down here to WeFlow. Here's all your WeFlow uh, themes right here. And they got about three pages of those. So you can come there and check that out. Uh, this Gecko OS. I also got some of those there. So check that out. Actually, somebody was asking me about that right there. And, you know, I, I didn't even think about this site. Uh, I need to go back there and let him know. But anyway, uh, we also got the Wii MC right here and configurable USB loader here. Uh, I don't know how many pages of this it's got. These USB, uh, the configurable USB loader has a lot of good themes, guys. It really does. Um, really does. So if you're if you're using configurable USB loader, guys, check this out because it's got a lot of good ones. Okay, but yeah, my menu file pretty cool I uh, got three pages of those I might even look into this guys this is pretty cool I love the alien that's awesome um, but yeah let's see what else they got here homebrew channel um, let's see homebrew channel yeah see that's cool man we got a lot of good ones here. I love this one right here. I might even look into downloading this one. The Super Smash Brothers. I love Super Smash Brothers. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, you get the point here. Uh, just go through there. 
look, go through all these and download what you want uh, and try them out. That's all I can tell you, all right? So, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna pull up, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. Um, okay, hold on one second, I gotta turn my phone off. This stupid thing over here. Okay, whatever. Um, what we're gonna do, guys, uh, I got three of them downloaded already. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm going to extract these three here to a separate folder. And just wait on them to get done here. All right, so we're good to go. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into our apps folder here and then we're gonna scroll down to our USB loader GX folder right here. All right, and then we're gonna go into the theme folder. This is where you're gonna place all your themes, guys. These are the ones that I got right here. These are the ones I actually downloaded online from my Wii, but you can't do that now. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go on uh, my Wii here in a little while and let you see for yourself, but it's not working. I don't know what's wrong with it, but okay. I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick and uh, let's go into this first one here. Uh, you definitely want this folder here and you want your uh, Them file <laughs> you want to say theme file I guess I don't know whatever so cut that out and we want to paste it onto our SD card there All right And you're gonna do the same with these other ones here simply go in here highlight both of those cut them right there and Paste them onto your SD card Go to the next one New Super Mario Brothers, we're gonna cut that and we're gonna place it on the SD card. Okay, so that's that's it of the themes, guys. Uh, now, for the music, uh, this is very easy, no big deal. What I did, uh, I created a music folder on my SD card. You can put them in, a, Anywhere you want to guys just anywhere you want because when, once you get into US, USB loader GX You just basically basically going to create a directory to that particular mp3 file. That's all you're going to do All right, so this is the one that I'm using currently and if you watch any of my videos uh, This is uh, I'll, I'll play it if you see So that's that that's that one right there guys um, I got a few more up here I've got the newer Super Mario Brothers here uh, check this out all right uh, I've got night drive here So if you was watching this tutorial, you noticed that was in the background of my tutorial here. I used that one. Uh, Ninja Gaiden right here. That one, I got the space. I'm actually using this one right here on my other Wii. And I got a Mario theme on that one which is pretty cool. So those are the ones I got right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy those over guys into my uh, music folder here. You can create a music folder if you want or just put them anywhere. You can actually go into your apps folder into the, and then into your USB loader GX folder and you can place them in there if you want, you know, wherever. Um, but that's that uh, we can head on over to the Wii now guys and I'll show you uh, how to get install um, how to get in installing these different themes and the background music and stuff okay so uh, meet me over there guys okay guys uh, y'all ready uh, let's get to changing some themes here uh, Go into our USB loader here and we'll get it started up.
Okay, so right here, guys, if you look at the very bottom down at the left-hand uh, corner down there, that's where you'll find out what version USB Loader GX you're running. Uh, as you can see, I'm running the version 3 right now. <clears throat> and this is the theme that I have right now. Uh, I'm currently with. I've had it for a while now. Uh, I just love it to death. Uh, so let's change it. So let's go into our settings here. What you want to do is go to page three and go up here to theme menu. Okay. Okay. This will bring up all your themes here. Uh, let's go with the uh, dark NES first, and you just simply click on it and then hit apply. Hit yes. Okay. So here we go. And oh, that's cool sound like a TV you hear that but anyway uh, yeah this is pretty neat it looks actually like the Wii system menu in a way <laughs> pretty neat um, so let's try something let's try a sound how about that let's do a sound uh, this is on page two go to your sound uh, option right here go up to the very top the background music and go to change path and what I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try out the uh, mm, I don't know let's, let's see let's go with this one That sounds pretty cool. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so let's let's go on over. We'll change it to another theme here. Oh, we got the Iron Man. We got the Fire Red here. Uh, how about the new Super Mario Brothers? Let's apply that theme there. Alright, so now we're going to go over to, uh oh, let's go over to sound, go to the background music up here, and go to change play path. Um, now guys, like uh, I didn't say this before, but you just simply just create a directory. Wherever you put your mp3 file, you just go to that, that particular uh, location, alright, and then hit OK, alright. So let's go with the new Super Mario Brothers uh, MP3 here. So that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Uh, you can also, uh, there's another one, another sound here that I wanted to try, and that is space. That's pretty neat. Now, uh, if the music ain't loud or it's too loud, guys, check this out. You can also adjust the volume. Go into sound right here. And right here, music volume, you can actually change that, guys. Make it softer or louder or whatever you want to do. But this, these are the only two options right here that I have messed with. I changed the music and I've messed with the volume. That's all I've done. Alright. How about the underground? That's pretty neat. All right, so let's get uh, install another theme here. Uh, one piece. Now that's pretty neat. That that's 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 like quite colorful. Oh, uh, this is this is all right. It's not too bad at all. I don't know what these characters are. But it's yeah, it's pretty neat. <clears throat> we'll go to Iron Man. We'll apply that theme. This this is a really cool theme. And we'll go back one, and then we'll go to sound, and we'll change this to that um, Ninja Ninja Gaiden. How about that?
All right, so that this music right here really goes good with this theme to me, anyway. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna stick with this just for a little while, guys, and uh, yeah, leave it on here for a while and then change it again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's it for my tutorial. I hope it really helped you guys out uh, in customizing your USB loader GX uh, the way you want it. Uh, I know I do all the time. It's fun to mess with this stuff like this. But uh, yeah, hope it helped you out. Uh, you guys stay cool, keep gaming, uh, and this is Bobby signing off. Until next time, guys, I'll see y'all guys later.